Welcome back to another episode of Jacksonville Buzz's RN Champions. Uh, each week, my co-host Rodney Clements and I will interview people in the medical community doing amazing things. Rodney, what makes a great RN? Well, you know, as the most trusted profession, nursing, uh, it's important for a nurse to really understand the patient in a holistic way in every facet and to be there and for that patient in the most uh, nurturing manner. Um, there's um, many ways a nurse can take care of a person, whether it's physical, mental, psychological. So um, our, our guest will be able to enlighten us as well on so her not, vision. Not, so not just uh, needles in the arm. <laughs> no, no, sir. I, 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 growing up in a medical family, I'm, you know, I have a very uh, you know, reserved respect for needles. Uh, joining us is Annie Smith, who is the vice president of North Florida Association of Neonatal Nurses. Annie, did I get all of that correct? Yep, that sounds great. So in the dovetail of needling in the arm, uh, a neonatal nurse has to put little needles in little arms. Tell us a little bit about your organization. Um, so the North Florida Association of Neonatal Nurses, we started about two, two and a half years ago um, by two local nurses here in Jacksonville. Um, so they started off um, just sort of developing a plan um, where NICU nurses um, from eight counties in Northeast Florida come together and meet and just sort of discuss everything that's going on in the neonatal community. Um, two years later, um, we have um, gathered, I believe, around 36 members, active members, and we offer multiple opportunities um, that include continuing education classes. Um, we're having one in October towards the end. We're having an ARMP come speak um, about um, infant cardiology, which I'm super excited about hearing. Um, we also do some social gatherings. Um, we're planning something towards the end of December for the holiday season. Um, we've thrown some ideas out for like an escape room, an ugly sweater Christmas party, um, an arts and crafts holiday decorating, just things so where all these NICU nurses can get together and just share their ideas and just sort of hear everyone and get everyone's like opinion of what's going on. and throughout this, um, this community of nurses. So thank you, Annie, Annie, for joining us today. I'm a pediatric nurse as well, but the neonatal specialty is even more specific. And uh, I'm just curious, you already mentioned and answered some of my question, uh, the education and training for your nurses. It's kind of like any specialty, it's personality-based. So certain nurses come into neonatal nursing and how do you um, how do you specifically train the nurses on their IV access techniques? Um, as an infusion nurse and ER nurse myself, um, you know most nurses can't even start an IV anymore. So it's a highly skilled, especially for neonates. And I just wanted you to kind of speak to um, enlighten us on on how you go about uh, you know determining and helping these nurses. So I think there's different approaches that you can take. Um, so for me, I didn't, I didn't start out in the ICU. I started out caring for adults and um, I worked in postpartum mother babies. So I had like very, a lot of confidence, you know, sticking an adult patient with an IV. So when I came to the NICU, I was definitely like really nervous. Um, so my approach into taking it, I hate to say it, it's more like practice makes perfect. And finding um, like a mentor, like someone who you can go to and can give you some of like the best advice, the best techniques. Um, where I work now, there's a few women I work with. I'm always there um, when we admit babies and watching them and having them show, like be with me while I'm doing the IV to make sure I'm successful. Um, so that's how I've sort of learned um, now when you're a new, brand new nurse coming straight out of school, the approach that that's taken, um, a lot of hospitals offer like residency programs. 
and that's about a year long program. And those that education is where the new nurse is taught on a mannequin first and taught about this is what an IV is, this is what it does, and then you practice on the mannequin, and then you slowly work your way to patients. Um, so there's sort of two different ways of, you know, learning how to do IVs. That's um, a, it's it's very interesting. Where you so, you know, to both of you guys, uh, guy and gal, you know, growing up in the medical community, uh, my mom is a blood analyst, Danny, and, uh, you know, Rodney and I have talked about this ad nauseum, my healthy fear of needles. Uh, as an adult, you know, to a question to the both of you, uh, you know, I can tell you where it hurts and I can communicate to you clearly, hey, by the way, that my foot hurts. But as a person that deals with children, infants, neonatal, how is your approach different to the patient that may not be able to articulate, my foot hurts. Yes, would you like to speak to that, Annie, first? Uh, um, so for a neonatal, um, for me, like when I'm doing an IV or with the other nurses that I work with, um, we try to just make it as comfortable as possible. Um, you know, for me, I've had IVs put in me tons of times and they suck, I hate it. Um, so for when I'm doing an IV on my infant, you know, I try to give them like a pacifier. I try to do like a swaddle. Um, and in that situation, if a baby cannot be given a pacifier or they cannot be swaddled, you can do a thing called containment hold where you sort of take your hands and just sort of wrap your hands around that baby, just sort of giving them that sense of comfort to sort of help with the pain as much as possible. All kinds of tips and tricks. I, I, I know, you know, yes, like there's all kinds of different um, uh, maneuvers you can use to kind of help with the comfort. Yeah, when Rodney practices with me in the morning, uh, basically over out <laughs> off camera here, you know, he just distracts me. And next thing you know, I feel like a pincushion. Mm -hmm. But in, in all sincerity, uh, you know, what you do, Annie, is, is absolutely fabulous. You know, you have obviously a, a patient set that doesn't have the ability to communicate. And uh, to uh, Rodney's uh, comment earlier, probably one of the most important professions. Uh, you know, hospitals don't work without nurses and people don't get the treatment without nurses. And thank you uh, very much for everything that you're doing for our community, the medical community, and then of course the, the, the little teeny tiny kids uh, that depend upon you. Uh, if people wanna find out more about your organization, what's the best way to connect? Um, so the best way to um, follow our organization is we have a Facebook page it's North Florida Association of Neonatal Nurses on Facebook. Um, if you are interested in joining, um, you go to the NAN, which is the National Association of Neonatal Nurses. You um, do a national membership, and then after you get your national membership, you do your local chapter, and we're the North Florida Association of Neonatal Nurses. Um, the other thing too, um, we are, we do have people throughout hospitals in Jacksonville um, that do our members. Um, so just speak at your, um, your local hospital and ask about it. There's always information there too. Thank you very much. We will make sure to uh, hang it on our website at iwantabuzz.com. Uh, Annie, thank you so much for joining us and both for yourself, ma'am, and Rodney G. Thank Clements. you, Annie. Guys, thank you so much thank for being so a much. champion on RN Champions. We'll see you next time.